Hey there, this is Rob. When we published Vislo for Google Slides version 2 in the past week, we got a boatload of questions about this new version of the integration. And today we're trying to answer the 10 most frequently asked questions in just 10 minutes. So let's get started. Question number one. What's the greatest feature in version 2 of Vislo's Google Slides integration? So there are a bunch of small improvements like um, better performance, better usability, some really nice new illustrations and all of these things in there. But the main thing, and that's the reason why we call it version 2, is that we now support embedded charts, which means that the source for these visuals is stored within the slide directly in your presentation. So there's no need to store a document on vislo.com and merely link to these visuals. The actual content of these charts is stored within the presentation, is shared and copied, duplicated and all these things together with the presentation, right? That's the reason we call it 2.0. Question number two. What's the difference between embedded and linked charts? Well, as I said before, an embedded chart is stored directly within the slide of your Google Slides presentation. So everyone with editing access to this presentation is able to fully modify the chart. And when you're creating a copy of this chart or of the slide or of the presentation as a whole, you create an individual copy of this chart that can be modified without affecting the original source. But if you're deleting an embedded chart, by deleting the chart, the slide, or even the whole presentation, it's just gone because there's no copy stored anywhere else. It's only within the presentation. In contrast, linked charts are stored on vislo.com and only a visual representation of these charts is added to the Google Slides presentation. Which means that if you create a copy of a Google Slides presentation that contains a linked chart, you still will have a linked chart that is linked to the same original source on vislo.com. And if you want to have somebody um, make modifications to, to this kind of chart, you need to give them access on vislo.com to be able to edit these visuals. And if you're deleting a chart from a Google Slides presentation or if you're deleting a slide or a presentation that contains a linked chart, only the link will be gone. The original chart will still be stored on vislo.com. Question number three. Can I use the same chart in more than one presentation? Well, yeah, it's super easy to do this with linked charts. You just uh, browse your existing charts and add it as a linked chart in any of, of your presentations and you will have another um, visual representation of the same chart in, in another spot, right? But you can also do this with embedded charts. They just won't be connected then because they are not linked charts. So just create a copy, use copy and paste, duplicate a slide, um, create a copy of the same presentation and you will have the same visual thing in multiple places without them being connected. Question number four. What happens with my existing presentations? That's an easy one. All your existing presentations that you created prior to this release will just show up as a linked chart and you will be able to continue to use the exact same functionality as before because essentially we're just um, using the same functionality that we offered before and we're now just calling this linked chart. So no change is necessary on your end there, right? Question number five. Can I convert my existing slides to use embedded charts? Currently, there's no automated way um, to do that. So uh, you are able for any kind of visuals that you create on the Vislo platform to just go to the editor. In the file menu, there's a, um, a, a way to download a Vislo file. You can also do that from the export dialog. And if you take these Vislo files from your computer and just drop it on a Google Slides presentation, they will just be imported as an embedded chart. So that's a way for you to um, convert existing presentations into embedded charts. We will certainly add some functionality to the add-on that in the future you can just uh, click a button and uh, convert any kind of linked chart into an embedded chart, right? But currently, there's no automated way of making this happen. Question number six. How does sharing presentations work when using embedded charts? Easy. 
So um, just share a presentation with any kind of means that you can find in Google Slides. Create a sharing link, just copy the URL from your browser, use um, shared drives in, in Google Drive. Wh whatever you use currently to share your presentations will work for sharing the charts within these presentations too. Right? There's no need to give access to any kind of Vislo document on the Vislo platform to somebody who you want to invite um, editing or um, commenting on these uh, kind of charts. Just share the presentation and if that person has access to the Vislo add-on, they will be able to edit the charts in this presentation. If you only give viewing access uh, to any kind of presentation, they won't be able to update the charts but still will be able to see that. Question number seven, what happened to document layouts? Very nice question. So document layouts is the functionality in, in the Visual platform to set the outer boundaries of the chart that you are creating. And as with embedded charts, um, the, the whole visual is stored within the slide. We also know the size of the chart that you're editing from the, the size of the graphic within the slide. So to set the, the boundaries, you just resize it in Google Slides and there's no need to, to actually specify the width and the height of the chart in the Vislo editor. And that's why in the editor you won't find the document layouts presets anymore. You only have the settings to change the margins there because the size is set from within Google Slides itself. Question number eight. Can I connect embedded charts to remote data sources? No, you can't. For embedded charts, we won't be able to know where you actually store them. So um, all the presentations that contain embedded charts, all the different slides, we don't track that, we don't know where they exist. And because of that, we're not able to um, update these charts whenever the original data source changes. So if you want to make use of remote data sources of scheduled auto updates or manual auto updates based on changes in remote data sources, you have to use a linked chart. Question number nine. Can I collaborate with multiple people on the same presentation? Yeah, that's a functionality that Google Slides offers for a long time. So you can even do real-time collaboration. You can see what others are doing in the presentation. And you can do the same thing with Wislow charts. You can make copies, move them around, resize them, all these kind of things. The only caveat is that if multiple people open the Wislow editor at the same time and make modifications to the exact same chart at the same time, Whomever is the last one to click the save and close button in the top, that's the version that gets stored in the slides then. So you might want to use the history functionality of Google Slides to keep it under control if there's uh, too many changes at the same time. And question number 10. How are my presentations affected when canceling my subscription? Very important question. So one of the basic guarantees that we make with Wislow is that we won't touch your presentations when you're not there, right? So any change to the presentation that happens is only happening because you're currently editing that from within Google Slides. So whenever you cancel your subscription, we won't be touching that presentations at all, so nothing changes there. So you can continue to present with these presentations, you can continue to um, store them, duplicate them, move them around, make changes to that. Nothing um, happens there. The only thing is, if you have an embedded or even a linked chart within a presentation and you want to make a modification to that, so you want to update the data that you're visualizing, you want to um, make some visual changes to the theme that you're using, um, or, or any of these kind of things, you will get to see a watermark within this graph there. You will still be able to use the um, history um, undo functionality to get back to an older state um, if it kind of disturbs the, the, the visual output, but um, we won't force you to keep the subscription running just to be able to continue to present using this presentation. So delivering the same stuff that you edit, edited a long time ago is still going to be possible, but um, creating new stuff or making modifications um, you will get the watermark there. 
All right, I hope that clears it up. If there's more questions that you want to see answered, just leave a comment or get in touch with us directly from within the app. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to come back for more useful tutorials on charting and data visualization.